Okay. Um, Julius. In Jimmy. Back in the day. Back in the day, the Spectrum Analyzer made its ugly appearance and a whole generation of gnarly sound guys started to chase the holy grail of equalising their PA flat. And it sounded horrible. It sounded predictable. It, no, it just sounded plain horrible. <laughs> Enter this era, and here we have the phonic PAA 6, and there's things I like here, other than spectrum analysis, which is beautiful. Um, most importantly, we have da -da -da -da, polarity, so we can test our speakers, because all you young players out there who are so used to things that work all the time, guess what? The sub may be out of phase from speaker to speaker, from sub to sub, and what happens when that happens? Cancellation. It all goes backward. Your entire audio goes backward until you unplug stuff and discover that less speakers sound bigger than more. That's when you've got a polarity problem. This will confirm it. What else does it do, James? Okay, it does a whole pile of stuff. Some of it's going to be more useful than other parts. It, it gives you an RTA, so it gives you a real-time analyzer. It shows you what frequencies are how loud. And it can do that based on the input from the microphones built in. These microphones conveniently spin around out of the way. So it's nice and easy to store. Um, or their external line inputs. So you can you can see a spectrum analysis. It does it's got an RT60 function, so it'll tell you how long the reverb time of a space is. Um, that's an interesting one. I had to have a play around with that. Um, still not entirely convinced by the results on that particular function, but it may have been uh, that my impulse signal was not loud enough relative to the noise floor of the space in which I was testing. Might have been that your brain just doesn't work properly. Yeah, it could have been that too. It's um, got... It's a, got a signal it's generator. Got a stand mount. Yeah, you can mount it on a mic stand. It's also it's rechargeable, which is nice. It's because if you uh, if you're USB running the thing connector, for, so you can get into your laptop and um, do stuff. Do stuff. Yeah, so it's rechargeable, as I was saying, which is nice. So did I interrupt you? You did a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so you, you charge it up, and then you can take it out to your gig, and you yeah. don't need to worry about finding power for yet another thing at front of house. In your little power farm there. It's got a signal generator. It'll do all kinds of tones and white noise and pink noise and that sort of thing. Um, and it'll also obviously generate the signal to go along with the polarity checker for your speakers. I think it's a must-have for your toolkit. Yeah, look, uh, it's... This or something similar. It's around, I think it's around 1750 retail, which is not cheap. There's a smaller version called the PAA3, which doesn't have the signal generator. What it does have is it comes with a CD with test tones and stuff on it, um, and it loses some of the functionality. Like, I think it loses the RT60 and stuff, but it'll still do things like your SPL and your... RTA. It also makes you look like a professional. Even if you don't know how to use it, you have it there and it's going blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and look, I, I think probably the most relevant function here is this, the LEQ, which is your time-based noise dosage measurement um, in an environment where... Cumulative. Yeah, yeah, your cumulative, cumulative. Noise, noise dosage. And pretty much, you, you fire up the function, you hit the go button, it'll tell you what frequencies are loudest and it'll give you your time-based average noise dosage. Um, and in a situation where now we find ourselves uh, with more more strict or at least sort of more well-enforced uh, noise restrictions and so on, this is an absolute winner of mm. a function. Um, and and this, this particular function is probably alone makes it worth the price. Um, it's got a color touch screen, which is nice. I was sort of thinking that some of the functions, like the go back to the main menu function, seem a little bit hard to press with your finger. That's because you're supposed to use a stylus. Oh. Considering I wasn't using the stylus, um, I think it actually works pretty well. Probably Even with a finger, yeah, it's, it's, it's relatively accurate. There's this little joystick thing. I can't actually figure out what the purpose in life of that thing is. Mm -hmm. um, it does everything twice. There's, there's two meters, there's two microphones, there's two inputs. Um, Can you use the mics as like a lectern mic? Um, probably probably not, not, hey. Anyway, I, look, I'm, as usual, uh, another great tool for you from Us Tools.